Morning, it's the 15th of uh, February 2024. I see it. It's a mild start to the day. Must be about double figures. Uh, today we're going to talk about Laura Farris. She's the MP for nobody, Conservative MP for nobody. But before that, a bit of good news. Kieran Mullen, the Nantwich and Crew uh, MP, is standing down at the end of this uh, electoral term. So is the 58th Tory to fucking stand down. Thank fuck for that, another one less. Big up to Anslef, they have voted unanimously to continue the, uh, the industrial action for the next six months. You need to get uh, above 50% to go on site. The lowest these have got is 89% in five areas, everyone's over that, so 90% plus. So fucking hats off to them boys. But Laura Farris, yeah, they wheeled her out yesterday to defend the fucking Tories. What another fucking empty vessel she is. Watch this clip, it's so not programme long. ...who basically say that a cost of living crisis is literally crippling them. I know it's not your area of expertise, yeah. but you do have to pay your bills like the yeah. rest of us. You do acknowledge that under this government, people have found themselves in a position where they, they, they just can't. Yeah, but the government's taken unprecedented measures to support people with the cost of living. Things like the energy price cap had a huge impact on help, helping people to get through the winter. Inflation is now coming down very, very sharply. You know, you see it in your food bills, you see it at the petrol pump. It makes a massive difference. So there you go. Inflation is going down. You can see it in your food bills. You can see it at the fucking fuel pumps. I must be looking in the wrong places, because I can't see it. This government has taken unprecedented measures to support people, such as the energy cap. The energy cap prices have fucking doubled. We're paying more energy price. We pay more for his energy now than we ever have done. You can't make it up in the city. They're telling bare face lies. I would imagine everybody in this country must be two and a half thousand pound worse off under this government, unless you've got to pay less than two and a half thousand pound, which is very unlikely. Later on, she's on about Keir Starmer and, uh, and her Labour fucking candidate in Oldham. And she said, it blows my mind that it took Starmer 72 hours to suspend as a rally from the Labour Party. Well, it would blow your mind, Laura, because you're a fucking Tory. Let me tell you something, it took the Tories six years to get rid of him, Peter Bourne, despite fucking six years of allegations against him. It took him a, a long time to get rid of Chris Pincher, the Groper, Neil Parrish, tried to pawn, Owen Patterson, broke advocacy rules, Rob Roberts, sexual harassment, Andrew Griffiths, sexual harassment. It took him ages to get rid of these, don't forget. Charlie Elphick, convicted fucking sex offender. David Warburton, sexual harassment. Imran Khan. Sex offender in prison as we fucking speak. Gavin Williamson, bullying. Crispin, Bl Crispin Blunt, sexual misconduct. Fucking Johnson, party gate. Bob Stewart, racism. You can go on and on here. Dominic Rabb, bullying. Bullying. Andrew Rossindale. He's been suspended for about fucking three years. Well, not suspended, but he's been banned from Parliament for four years while the sexual allegations, rape allegations against him have been investigated. They've just been fucking zogged. In other words, somebody's been paid off. Wakey, wakey!